So now we actually want to handle the post sign up. So let's go ahead and add our request in here and our response. And let's just make sure all of our data is coming through first of all. So I'm just going to do a var dump on request get params. So this method will just give you all of the data that's been submitted. So if I hit sign up, you can see we've got email, name and password. So we know we've got these coming through and of course we can put these straight into the database. So now what we can do is I'm just going to go and turn off autocomplete here as well. So we'll set autocomplete to off and we can actually start to insert this now. So how do we insert this into our database? Well, we already know that we have set up our model so we can just very easily use that user model to create this. So first thing, I will just want to pull this into my controller. So it's app models user. So in here then, we can say user create, we can pass this data in. So we know the email, so that's request. And now we used get params before, but now we can use get param and we can pass the name of the field that we want to pull in. So we've got email, let's do the same with name. So it's request get param name. And of course, we now need to take the password as well, but this is slightly different because we need to hash it. So let's just pass this in as it is, and then we'll wrap this with the password hash function. So it's password. So now we're gonna use the PHP password hashing API to deal with this. And all we need to do is use the password hash function. We wrap that in there. The first argument to this function is the data that you want to hash. The second is the algorithm you want to use. So we're just going to use password default. And you can also supply additional options as well, like the cost. This is just the amount of processing time uh, that it takes or uses to actually generate the hash. So you can increase this if you want more power for the hashing algorithm. But I'm just going to leave this out as the default because if you set this too high, things start to get a little bit slow. So now that we've done that, let's just assign this to a variable because we're going to need that a little bit later. Now, all we're going to do, though, is we're going to redirect back to the home page. So we'll deal with things like flash messaging later. But now all we're interested in is redirecting back to the home page and having that data in our database table. So we actually need to redirect back to the home page. So we need a name on this route. We currently don't have one. So we're going to do exactly what we did with the sign up. We're just going to call that home. Pretty straightforward. So now we can return. Now remember we use response to respond to the request. And here we can say with redirect. And all we do here is we pass the URL. So in this case, we need to actually build the URL up from that named root. And this is really straightforward. Remember, we do this router, we can access our container. So we're accessing router on our container. And here we just say path for home. So using path for here is pretty much the same as doing that within your views. So we use that just here. This is just a helper method that uses our router. So we're doing exactly the same thing, but we're just responding to this and that will subsequently redirect us off. So let's just check we have nothing in our database. We don't and we'll go over and we will sign up. So let's enter our email address. We'll enter a name and we'll enter a password. Hit sign up. We're redirected home. That's good. We didn't see any errors. So when we refresh, we see that data in there. So we've got our name and our email. That's pretty obvious, but we've also got a hashed password in there. We've got a created at date set, which I mentioned earlier. That's all to do with eloquent. And we also have an updated at date set as well. So now we've pretty much registered a user. We just need to tie this up later with things like validation and flashing a message to tell the user that they've registered. Either way, that's all done.